Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it is time for my client Nicolo's vlog. And we started off with a uh, bench press miss here. Uh, again, we're going to go back to the drawing board a little bit. He's been doing really well on deadlifts, on squats. Um, we're not quite getting the upper body hypertrophy so far uh, that I would like in this phase. Uh, because again, we're not seeing the, the bench move. The bench is, is a little bit stagnant there. So we're going to reassess his volume. I've already got the next block drawn up. He already has it. Uh, he may be starting it by the time this uh, blog hits. So uh, again, we're going to change the way we're doing his press. And we're going to put more focus on incline. I've had overhead press in here because he really likes it. Uh, he wants overhead press. I don't know that it's best for his benching. It's taking a lot out of him and it's really just not giving him the extra chest development we need for a pressing slot. Um, same thing with some of the JMs. I would rather us focus on some pause benching, on some incline work, and just hammer the triceps with a little bit smaller movements now. Uh, because again, uh, I've kind of found that his benching tends to be weak near the lockout, which we still saw there, but uh, it hasn't budged. In other words, some focus on those areas hasn't done what we want. So what I want to focus on more is getting him the ability to get more speed out of the bottom, more power out of the bottom of the middle. And if we need to go to a slightly wider grip bench, once we have the musculature to do that, uh, because again, his bench had regressed a little bit um, a while back, just due to some other stuff with his programming uh, from where he was at his last meet. Uh, we're still not back up to where he was. So, uh, again, we need to adjust these things. Um, so again, I'm going to redo all of his pressing and tricep work uh, in this next block. Got to get him thicker. We have to get him bigger. We have to get him getting more speed, getting that bar moving, right? We just we need to be able to follow through to, to completion. And like I said, ideally, I'd like him uh, to be able to bench a hair wider than he's having to do, which again means we need we need more chest. Need more chest for that while we continue to work work on the triceps um, but but again the overhead press at this point in the game is just not serving him as someone who already has a big bench okay so you know if we're going to push up past that that right at that four plate mark and we want to get further along we really have to put meat in the right places uh, you know because of, as of right now it's right about where he is is that four plate bench and that's only only doable on a good day on the other hand, the deadlifting, we are doing phenomenally well. Uh, phenomenally well. Uh, we have a pull coming up here for max effort, a lower day, um, which you guys will see where he pulls 310 kilograms. It's real fast off the floor. So we're building that speed that we want. Of course, here's him doing uh, his band press down. So I want to continue to get that work capacity up on his triceps. I want to keep those tendons healthy. Uh, so he will have band press downs in the rotation um, most of the time. And it's just a good idea when you have a guy who's, who's benching the sort of weight he is and moving forward. I want to keep those elbow tendons really healthy. All right, here on the deadlifts, in spite of us saying that, hey, he does need more hamstring. Um, because again, hamstrings are a little bit of his weak link. Look at that deadlift. He was able to grind through that spot. But look at where that spot is. Okay more hamstrings we would have pushed through that a little faster but the speed off the floor is good again that's 310 kilograms which is uh, approximately 685 pounds so like i said we're in a real real good place there all right here he is doing some good mornings um with again plenty of weight on the bar a whole lot of weight on the bar here <laughs> uh, keeping in mind those reds are 25 kilograms those are not 45 pound plates. They're 25 kilograms, so those are roughly, roughly 55 pounds a plate. So again, you guys get the idea. Um, this is 170 kilos for 10 reps. And this is a 10 rep set. Uh, again, getting stronger here. We're building up those hamstrings, building up that posterior chain, uh, getting it stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, so again, when I say that hamstrings are a weak link for him, again, we don't mean he has weak hamstrings. Anyone who deadlifts 300 kilograms can't possibly have weak hamstrings. We mean relative to some of the other muscles, but this stuff is going to bring it up. 
I think it's going to get him stronger. It's going to, we're going to see him improve as a result of this. All right, so good mornings tend to be, they're going to be a staple for him for a bit because we don't have some of the other machines and stuff that I would like. I'd like to see a focus on that. Uh, speed benching, um, again, we can disregard a lot of what he did this week because we're going to be changing it. We're, we just are not on his pressing. I've not been putting the muscle on him the last month that I would like. Okay, I'm not getting the, the hypertrophy that I would like in the right places. So we're going to, we're reassessing completely. Um, and again, a lot of that's been based upon the fact that he does seem to be, uh, you know, struggle with bench lockouts a little bit. But again, I don't think that for a raw bencher, that means that we need to run uh, tricep specialization for too long. Because the thing you have to watch, too much lockout work specialization, you'll start getting slower off the chest. So we've got to balance those things in phases. You know, so for a little bit of a phase, we did do the floor pressing, uh, JM presses, and I'm hoping there will be meaningful hypertrophy from that that will carry over as we get the chest bigger again. So the other thing to keep in mind a lot of times um, when we make those changes, they don't pay off until later on, but I can't keep him there for a long time because again, he's saying I feel weaker off the chest. And if I've got a lifter who's feeling that way, we can't keep doing that specialization. We, keep, we just can't, you know, again, He's not an intermediate. He's not even like an early advanced lifter. He's, he's an elite lifter at this point. Um, we can't leave that stuff like that. We can't let those things detrain. You know, so we can do phases where we specialize on stuff a little bit and then we've got to rotate back to uh, just our general good programming for raw benching. And of course I let him do lot pull downs and stuff. So that comes up too. Why is all his uh, back work chest supported? Uh, because he deadlifts a lot. We're doing a lot of weight on good mornings. I don't want his, his back work to then uh, double down and fatigue the back, right? We can't afford it. He's not doing like I do to where we're living on glued ham raises and reverse hypers to where we can do that extra standing, uh, you know, lat work and even benefit from it. Again, we work around the lifter's needs, uh, the lifter's recovery, and of course, uh, their equipment limitations. So again, we have to make these things work. We have to make them flow. And here he is doing these style of JM presses. We're about to take these over to, to replace them with, with regular smaller extensions. Uh, because again, that is what he needs to have. Um, again, here we are more band press downs. Um, and these will be a staple because, because again, we talk about a lifter who needs more speed in the lockout specifically. Uh, again, band work facilitates that. Not just the tendon health, but again, if you think about the strength curves involved, it teaches you to have to follow through explosively against accommodating resistance near the lockout uh, to, again, get the triceps stronger there. All right, and then we finish up his week with dynamic effort lower, which is going to be speed boxes, speed pulls, uh, single leg presses on the leg press, uh, then tons of posterior chain and hamstring work. And this pretty much sums up uh, training week for Nikola. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.